Ray Smithling is an 80-year-old retiree from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, who recently fell and fractured his neck. But thanks to the skills of the dedicated team at the Detroit Medical Center, he is well on his way to recovery. All right, so scoot on forward a little bit. Well, just my body. Right? Yep. How's that? And then we're going to stand up. Mr. Smithling was visiting his son in Ortonville when he fell while trying to get into the shower. I was running the water and I was naked, went to step in. And I lost my balance and down I came and I hit my head on the stool, on the toilet stool. And that was the end of me. His injury was exacerbated by a condition called ankylosing spondylitis, which has caused his spine to become very stiff and brittle. Dr. Hazem El Tahawi, an attending neurosurgeon at the DMC's Harper University Hospital, explained the condition. Ankylosing spondylitis is a uh, condition in which the spine um, spontaneously uh, fuses together. The whole spine, which is supposed to be flexible and to bend sideways and f f back and forth, becomes just one long fused bone, and therefore it becomes prone to injury. When he fell, Mr. Smithling was rushed to the nearest hospital. But due to the complexity of his situation, the doctor there referred him to Dr. El Tahawi at the DMC. Once they were able to diagnose the you know, severe fracture that he had and the magnitude of the problem, we looked at the films and it was quite a complex medical and surgical situation. But he needed to have this uh, stabilized because you know, the alternative would have been to be at increased risk of injuring the spinal cord. A person with ankylosing spondylitis generally has a high risk of spinal injury, not only because their spine is brittle, but also because its stiffness impairs their balance and increases the risk of falling. In fact, in 1999, Ray Smithling suffered a similar injury to his neck, but at that time, the repair and recovery process was much more unpleasant than it is today. So he had an operation from the front of the neck where um, you know, a bone graft was inserted and the plate. He needed to have uh, an extensive time in which he had a halo around the head to, because uh, stabilization from the front is, is not sufficient on its own to, to stabilize a fracture like that. A halo is a device with a metal ring attached by rods to a yoke or vest which is screwed into the skull to immobilize the head. Having to wear one for months is an uncomfortable prospect at best. Ray Smithling was spared that experience because this time, Dr. El Tahawi employed what he calls a 360 degree technique. With the advanced surgical technology that's available um, right now, we were able to do a 360 fusion. So um, we stabilized from the front of the back and then we turned him on the same time and stabilized his fracture from the back as well. So the, this combined fusion 360 degrees around the spine uh, provides immediate stabilization. Using this technique, Dr. El Tahawi was able not only to repair the fracture, but also to straighten Ray Smithling's posture, which had become stooped from the deformity. Following his surgery and wearing only a cervical collar, he began working with physical therapists at the DMC's Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan. He still has a stiff and brittle spine, but between the surgery and the subsequent therapy, he is seeing considerable improvement. Before I was just hurting, really hurting, and now, of course, with all the therapy that the gals have given me, I, I just feel like a new person. Mr. Smithlings is just one of many cases involving complex spinal procedures which Dr. El Tahawi and his colleagues at the DMC handle every day. Thanks to their use of the latest equipment and techniques, the DMC has become a major referral center for complex cases and second opinions involving spinal surgery. Megan Curtis, Dr. El Tahawi's assistant, is a neurosurgery nurse practitioner. Every time I uh, hear of a new um, project or new equipment that is used for the spine in journals and magazines, we usually start using it. And after his experiences here, what does Ray Smithling think of the DMC? I would say go to Rim. It's the greatest place there is. I really would. I, not just because you're sitting there. I mean, I, I just think this is the greatest. I never knew there was a place like this, you know. Well, that's music to our ears. Thanks mm -hmm. so much.
Visit us here at dmc.org to learn more about advanced spinal surgery techniques or to make an appointment with Dr. El Tahawi and his team at the DMC Harper University Hospital. Also, be sure to check out the other installments in our series on complex spinal disorders. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.